All right, folks, it's time to get into this week's review of Fear the Walking Dead. This is episode five of season seven, Tale Death. Now, this episode essentially is a big love story, but it's super unpredictable. Not in the sense of like the entire episode, but like little tidbits within this episode was kind of like things I was really not expecting from coming out of the Walking Dead universe, period. But nonetheless, it is a love story um, circled around trans shenanigans and whatnot. But this episode, finally, we get Dwight and Sherry. They're going around as a tandem known as the Dark Horses. They have a reputation that everybody uh, is very much aware of, where they can retrieve things. You know, they they have been tasked to find things that people things and and people that uh, others cannot. Um, and they also live by this code and whatnot. And I really don't know what the code is, but I think the code essentially means that like if you steal something and you return it, then you can live. But then if you don't, then they will, of course, use deadly force. Um, but yeah. This now brings him that this now brings the attention to Shran, who basically is like, okay, cool. I need those guys. He doesn't know who they are, but he's like, I need them because Shran is looking for somebody that was in his community that left. And Shran can't figure out how did somebody leave my community with all of these walkers right here, you know? So he's intrigued. He needs to bring them back because he needs to know how do they do it. Uh Shran community over with over a thousand people. But when he does figure out that it's Dwight and Sherry, like, things get a little bit awkward, but it's the same old shenanigans, you know? But, yeah, they kind of balance, you know, weigh their pros and cons here to decide if it's a good move. Obviously, they're not aligned with trans vision, but there may be benefits here. And while this is very much a love story, um, it's not really circled around the two of them, but they do talk a lot about their future, which finally seems like they're on the same page but <laughs> i don't know but then we're introduced to a new character mickey who i gotta say i'm very excited for this character mickey um to my surprise background is a pro wrestler so mickey escaped because mickey is looking for her husband who they were engaged and they were looking for a venue to get married they were um before the apocalypse they were a tag. They were they were a tag team, well known in Atlanta at that. Um, so you know her mission is to find her husband. Of course, the dark horses could be very helpful in that. Now they're in a conflict now because they're like, well, do I help Mickey in her journey or do we help Shran for our benefit by bringing Mickey back? But uh, with that being said, like I said, there was a bunch of unpredictable moments. There was some tragedy that I really wasn't expecting. And there's horse kicking things. And then there's wrestling moves. Like, straight up, folks, as many kills that we've seen with zombies over the years, seeing a zombie get power drive is the best thing in my entire life. I never knew I needed that. But here we are. <laughs> but other than that, this episode also dealt with a lot of teamwork. A lot of unpredictable teamwork. And alliances seem to be being... Um, formed here because everyone's now looking for somebody else which i don't know if i should say so i'm just not going to say it. but now it seems like everybody has a common mission now into looking for somebody else so there is that and it is kind of one of those like wait a minute you're looking for this person too and i i, I don't know where this goes but i guess by season six or uh, season six episode six we're going to figure it out um but other than that you know it was a pretty okay episode i was more uh, I had a good time with the wrestling aspect of it, being a pro wrestling fan and seeing wrestling moves get put on zombies. Like, I never knew I needed that, but damn, did I love it. Um, and I have to mention, too, this episode was directed by Lenny James. Okay, sir, if this is what you're going to do, then give me more. <laughs> but, folks, as always, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this episode. And you know what the deal is. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, folks. Stay tuned because we got more reviews from the walking dead universe coming each and every week see you later folks